Right, man. Let's get this on. Time to relax. Catch up on some tip. Oh, hey there. What's up? I didn't see you. When did you get here? Actually, come to think about it, how did you get in here? I don't remember inviting you over to my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, there's nothing like having unexpected visitors in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> But no, seriously, real talk. I was about to just catch up on some TV right here on my couch, sit back and relax. In fact, let me get my recline on real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since you're here, I might as well just share some thoughts that I've been having with you. You know, in my opinion, the Fire Stick from Amazon is pretty much still the best streaming device that you can get your hands on, even in 2021. So, if you come out and take a ride with me on my couch, I will let you know exactly why I feel so. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see, what are we going to watch? You guys thought I forgot, didn't you? Nah, I didn't forget. <laughs> Cue that intro music, boy! <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? And a massive, massive, massive welcome to the channel. Oh, and before I forget, Happy New Year, man. Yes, yes, a big one. 2020.1. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. It is a new year and we are moving on to bigger, better things. All right? For those of you who don't know, my name is TP and you have tuned in to another installment of TP Check Your Tech. So if you are into all things smart and you are into all things tech, don't be shy about it. Click that subscribe button down below and ding that bell so that YouTube will be able to let you know every single time I drop a new video. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's just get straight down to it. The reason why I believe that Amazon's Fire Stick is still pretty much the best streaming device that you can get your hands on in 2021. Actually, it's a couple of reasons. It's not just one reason. Like I have already stated, there are a couple of reasons that I'm pretty much a big advocate of the Fire Stick from Amazon. Reason number one, it is straight up a bang for your buck way for you to get quality entertainment on your hands and considering all the things that you can uh, put into this little fire tv stick man it is impressive i mean you can have uh, your netflix running up in this thing you can get your obviously you know youtube and other uh, big platforms uh united states based platforms like disney plus and prime video and espn i do have to mention that with regards to those bigger platforms uh you would need to be running VPN. Unfortunately, in the country in South Africa here, a lot of those things are not freely available and open to us unless you are running a VPN. You know, things like Disney Plus and HBO and NBC and Showtime. So there is a way to work around it and uh, be sure to look down in the description box below. I will be leaving links to this awesome youtuber that i'm following and uh, he'll basically walk you through how you can get your uh, vpn installed on your fire stick and the best way that you can uh, you know make some entertainment happen illegal i'm just kidding i'm just kidding oh am i no i'm really i'm kidding <laughs> and while we are on the subject of bang for your buck quality entertainment right at your fingertips uh, you know, we've been using this uh, Fire TV stick in my house for a good couple of months now. And I have not yet maxed out its full potential because there's just so much that you can do with it. You know, like I already mentioned, Netflix being one of them. And, you know, apart from those uh, programs that are not available to us in the country, there are many other applications that you can download to your Fire TV stick that will just keep you and your family 
thoroughly entertained for days. Let's move on to reason number two, which will basically support reason number one. You see, this little baby right here, if you have a TV that is not so smart, what it can do for you is turn your dull, not so smart TV into a smart TV. Yeah, I mean, it pretty much does every single thing that a smart TV does, but only at a fraction of the price. Isn't that just peace of mind, man? Especially considering how much smart TVs go for. So all you gotta do is plug this little bad boy into your not so smart TV via the HDMI port. You know, that's the only requirement. It has to have HDMI ports because that's how the device works. And then voila, just like that, man, instantly you have a smart TV with some awesome entertainment ready and available for you and your family. Reason number three, which is pretty much, I believe, the main reason why I ended up going for the Fire Stick from Amazon. You know what it is? It has Alexa built into it. Now, for those of you who don't know, man, I'm a huge fan of Amazon's Assistant. It is the brains of my house. It is the AI that pretty much runs and controls the show and communicates with all of the smart devices in my house. And I think it is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome that I can communicate with my smart house all from the comfort of my couch. You see, all I gotta do is press this little button right here and then there'll be a light right there that comes on. And then all I would have to say is, turn off the light and it will just do that automatically or set a timer. All the functions that you have come to appreciate and know about the Amazon Assistant are fully built into your Fire TV stick. So, you know, I don't have to reach for my phone. I don't have to quickly run to the other room to try to communicate with uh, my Amazon Assistant. All of it I can do right from the comfort of my couch. And that, that's cool right there. That's smart tech, baby. So with your Amazon Assistant built into your Fire TV stick, you are able to communicate with all of the smart devices in your house. You are able to get live camera feeds of whatever cameras that you have in your house that are, of course, uh, Amazon Assistant compatible. And those are just a few things that, you know, the Amazon Assistant can do. Set timers, add stuff to your grocery list, reminders, and, you know, all sorts of random questions that you would normally have for your Amazon Assistant. Reason number four why I really like the Amazon Fire TV Stick and why I believe that it is the best streaming device that you can get your hands on in 2021. With the power of your voice and using your Amazon Assistant smart speaker, you are able to call up certain programs and tell your smart speaker to tell your Fire TV stick to open up a application like Netflix, Spotify, even YouTube, just to mention a few. And if you have a subscription to Amazon Prime, you are able to not only call up a certain program, but you are able to tell your Amazon assistant via its smart speaker to tell the Fire TV stick to fire up a certain show and which season and which episode play previous episode and skip to the next episode and pause and all sorts of things like that but you see this is now where i have a problem with the fire tv stick from amazon and this is why i have not yet been able to fully utilize it to its maximum potential oh well one of the reasons why you see with the fire tv stick you will benefit more from it with regards to your Amazon Assistant Smart Speaker if you have an Amazon Prime account. Now, the problem that I have with Amazon Prime is that while they do have a lot of awesome content, movies, TV shows, music, and books, and whatnot, I don't really see the point of going down that rabbit hole as yet because I already have Netflix for all of my movies and TV shows as well as Spotify, which keeps me content and happy for all of my music needs. And not only that, there is an application that is 
available for the Fire TV stick called Cinema HD. All of the TV shows and movies that I'm not able to get access to via my Netflix account, I can just simply get a hold of those TV shows and movies via this program called Cinema HD. And that has everything that you can possibly imagine. I mean, everything, even shows that go back all the way to the 90s, like My Wife and Kids and Seventh Heaven and Mr. Bean, you know, all of the favorites that you can possibly think of. So I reckon and I figure why get an Amazon Prime account when I already have, like I said, Netflix and an awesome program like Cinema HD that has all of the new movies and all of the old movies, TV shows and whatnot. It's just a waste of money. However, they do have me at a crossroads because I do want to maximize, you know, like tap into the Fire TV Sticks full potential uh, with regards to my Amazon Assistant. So it's something that I'm constantly thinking about, but for now it's okay. I'm all right because like I said, via Cinema HD, I'm able to get shows and movies that are apparently exclusive to Amazon Prime. So for now there's no need. And that's just something that you have to be mindful of if you buy into the Fire TV stick from Amazon and you already have some Amazon Assistant speakers and you have it as your AI or the brains for your home as it were. But hey, don't let that sway you to the negative side, man. No, 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 no. Because I have one more reason why I believe that this is an awesome product that you have to get your hands on. And before I get there, let me just take the time out to say, if you've been digging the content thus far, do me a big favor, man. Click like, subscribe to the channel, you know, if you feel led to, right? Share this video with all of your people because it will really just help me out. And let me also just take this moment to say a big thank you for your support thus far. I really do appreciate it, man. And to show you how much I appreciate it, stay tuned right till the end of this video because I have something that will put a smile on all of your faces. Reason number five, why well, I believe that this is an awesome product and pretty much still the best streaming device that you can get your hands on in 2021. You are able to cost YouTube videos, Netflix and Spotify to your Fire TV stick via your mobile phone, tablet, or laptop which in my case is pretty cool because i have a three-year-old who yells at me from the tv room when i am outside or in my bedroom and she yells daddy i want to watch something else and usually what that means is she's not done with whatever it is that she's been watching and she would like to move on to the next best thing so instead of running out into the tv room i can just pull up my phone open up a program or a movie or tv show that i know she likes on her netflix profile and just cast it to my tv stick or if i'm maybe just walking around the house listening to music i don't have to quickly reach for the remote every time i want to repeat the song or move on to the next album i can just control my spotify via my mobile phone or with regards to youtube videos you know YouTube videos that don't require me to be sitting down on the couch, you know, with all of my attention on the TV screen. I can just control all of those also from my mobile phone. And really, that's just so cool. Now, keep in mind that uh, there are newer versions of the Fire TV stick. What I have is a second gen, and I do believe that there's a third gen after that, even a 4K version. So if you have a 4K TV, be sure to pick up a 4K version of the Amazon Fire TV stick. The picture quality, woo, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. And speaking of picture quality, so basically what this uh, Amazon Fire TV stick has is a 1080p HD quality, right? And I would know because before I got my hands on the Fire TV stick, I was basically streaming stuff, you know, movies and TVs via my first generation PlayStation 3, <laughs> believe it or not. So when I switched to the Fire TV stick, man, night and day difference. The TV is just clearer. It's crisp and beautiful. It also has Dolby Audio 
I'm running a Panasonic soundbar. So whenever I'm watching movies and, you know, all kinds of cool TV shows, the sound quality is also just on another level. It also has quad core. It does have six gigabyte built-in memory, which is maybe not a lot, but however, if you just stick to loading programs, it's a lot. And you know, with regards to quad core and the internal memory, it's quite a quick device. It's not sluggish in any way, make no mistake, even if it only does have six gigabytes built in of memory. So what do you need to uh, get this thing running uh, in your house? Well, obviously all you need is an HDTV with an HDMI input as well as high speed internet. You just, you just have to have high speed internet, at least 10 megabytes. But personally, the way that I feel about it, 20 megabytes should keep you, you know, nice and on the level. And of course, the only other thing that you need after that is an Amazon account, because the same way that you needed to set up your Amazon assistant speaker, that same account will basically be linked to your Fire TV stick as well. It's a, it's not a subscription service. The only time that you start paying is, ob is obviously if you buy stuff from Amazon and if you subscribe to Amazon Prime. So it's just a free account. You set it up one time and it'll just be linked to your Fire TV stick. But basically that is it guys. Uh, the Amazon Fire TV stick with your helpful personal AI built into it. Thank you very much for vibing out with me and tuning in to another installment of TP Check Your Tech. I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, stay teched out and God bless. No, but seriously though, I want to know who invited you here and how did you get into my house? Huh? Baby! Yeah. Did you invite these people over to the house without telling me? No. That's exactly my point. That's what I want to know. Who invited you and how did you get into my house? Don't you know that there's a pandemic going around? <sighs> Seriously. You know what? You guys need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Coming over here with your COVID infected self. You're trying to make me and my dog and my wife sick. No, 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 no. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. All of you. Get up. Get up. Get up. Go quarantine. Go quarantine. And I'll see you in two weeks. You're sick. Look at you. You're sweating. Just go. 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 Bye.